What are some of the things that you've experienced when uh, you've, you've run across students, or even yourself, when you haven't cleaned it uh, best, best as possible, your instrument, I mean? Well, I am a coffee drinker. Yes, sir. So I have experienced a lot of green and brown sludge <laughs> in my instrument. Um, and I actually didn't know what that sludge was for a long time until I met a man named uh, Don Sade, who's a repair tech out in Long Beach, California, who told me that that sludge is pure acid. That Could that comes be from the food that we soda eat. too? Then soda, that? Okay. coffee, um, whatever, whatever you, what, whatever's in your system. Acid is kind of a big killer for instruments, both inside and out. Uh, with a lot of players, euphonium players especially, you might notice a lack of lacquer right here, where the shininess goes away, and you see just little nooks and crannies. That's the acid from your hands uh, interfering with the metal. You'll notice it anywhere that you hold the horn regularly. Those are those are the spots where you're those holding are, it right now that I see spots. in here every yeah. day. Yes, sir. So that's what you're going to see a lot of. Um, and when you when you don't clean your horn a lot, this this acid really uh, can do some damage. So you want to make sure that you are personally cleaning your instrument once a month, completely. And then I love you that get you it. said personally. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yeah. parents come in here all the time and they say. Well, that's what you do, right? As in the music <laughs> store, and I'm like, no. Well, if you want to pay for it once a month, but that sure will add up. You want, it, you want to have it professionally done every year. Once a year, maybe twice a year if you're like me and you're especially acidic. Um, you'll want to have it done twice a year, and then personally you do it once a month uh, in your tub, disassemble the horn completely, you know, scrub everything out very carefully, or else you'll be paying um, Mr. Fred the visit. And there are YouTube videos out there awesome to be able to learn how to do that too. Uh, yeah, so please absolutely. do not, you know, a lot of people say, you know, I'll just drop the whole thing in there. And it's like, no, whatever you do for the love nope. of euphonium, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. So what, yeah, what, what would you research. take out? What would you take out? Obviously you, the valves. and Yeah, you want to take out the pipes. That's what usually what I do first is I take the pipes out. You want to wipe all the grease off of it. Um, you, want to, you want to take out the valves and take apart the valves too. You have these little felts here. And then if we can get in here close. Yep. You can see how it's layered like that. You want to take all those bits out of there. And the felts at the top, the cork down below, should not be put in the water. Because that will, uh, that will soften them and then they won't be quite as... They, they won't be uh, consistent padding for you and your valves will end up making a lot of noise and you'll have to uh, come in and buy more pads. That's the clackety-clack that yeah, you hear from a lot of people. Clack. Yeah. That's a felt that is past its prime. Gotcha. Yep. That's awesome. I got a good angle there. You were just hugging that horn and loving it, man. Oh. That's a good thing. <laughs> we say, see where your love is in, the, in, in life, man. Oh, love yeah. the music, man. I love it, man. Absolutely. Well, hey, Jeff Durbin, thank you so much. We're going to get you come back uh, another time, and we'll talk some more euphonium. Thank Absolutely. you, sir. Absolutely.